How we doing today, tool tubers? Today I'm bringing you a tool haul right in the middle of the the meet and greet I've got going on over there. Uh, I had to pull away. You know, I was just incredibly too distracted since it's, uh, since it started. So I have a nice tool haul for you guys today. I hope you'll enjoy it. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I've got quite a few items. Uh, some through Amazon and do any of you guys experience, you know, I ordered these three items on August 25th. Uh, this one was fulfilled. Th this is a William socket, and it was fulfilled by whatever company. They sent me a date, you know, that it would arrive like the 1st or 2nd of September. A couple days later, I got a, an email that it would arrive, you know, between October 2nd and October 20th. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> what kind of window is that? You know, that's worse than a damn, you know, cable installer. You know, but I'm like, this is like the third item that I've ordered off of Amazon, you know, where I've gotten, you know, these extravagant, you know, far out dates, you know, that items were gonna come and they end up coming, you know, well ahead of time, you know. So I'm, I'm satisfied with that, but I spent an entire day yesterday running around looking for a turbo socket in 19 millimeter or three quarter you know going to parts stores went to fasten all went to went to granger and nobody had one you know and i'm thinking you know son of a bitch i'm gonna have to uh cancel this damn order and looked online and tried to find another one somewhere else well couldn't find one with any success. They didn't come with, without a set. I didn't need a whole set or anything like that, you know, shop style. So I uh, came back home, a little bummed out, you know, lo and behold, bam, it arrived, you know, later on that evening. So I've got three items to uh, unbox here. A couple of them already been opened. You know, I opened this one. My, my wife opened up the middle one because it serves her purpose. So I guess we'll start with that one. Okay, I've ordered a three, three eighths drive. I ordered a turbo socket. If you've noticed uh, from my last tool haul video, and I didn't realize at the time that I ordered it that was that it was three eighths drive. I just didn't pay it any attention. And then when I got it, all it managed to do was just snap two extensions and uh, and another bar. So I was completely unsuccessful. I needed uh, needed this turbo socket in the half inch drive. Relax, relax, Shyla. It's just, it's just rain. <clears throat> She's on hyper guard, which is a good thing. <laughs> oh my goodness! It must be a uh, my neighbor walking his dog. All right. So this is a Williams turbo socket in 19 millimeter half inch drive wish me luck I got one stubborn lug nut man on that damn stratus that just refuses to budge you know so I'm hoping this will do the trick this is my first Williams tool also next we have since the the car has an alarm on it you know but the damn thing's been stolen five times since my daughter's boyfriend had it. Well, four times with him and once from my house. So, I figured I keep my trailer chained to, uh, to a chain link fence. But this would also make a, a nice visual deterrent, you know, for, for the Stratus. You know, if some knucklehead passes by, you know, and sees, you know, that the, uh, that the car has, you know, a boot or some sort of, you know, anti-theft device on it, you know, like a club on the outside, you know, put a club on the steering wheel, put this on the wheel, uh, hopefully they'll pass it by, you know, because they don't want to be found out or caught or anything like that. Uh, this I thought was going to take the length, the longest to come originally. But I kept getting emails about the Williams socket. So, 
And my wife's like, why did you order that? The car has an alarm on it. Well, obviously, you know, they know how to defeat, you know, alarms or get around them or whatever. So, um, I bought this, you know, and I'll use it on the car, you know, if I'm working on it in the back or anything like that, you know, my, my back slab and my dry, back driveway in the alley. If it's parked in front of the house, nobody bothers anything up there or anything like that, you know. And uh, when it's not in use on the car or if it's not in use on the car, then I've got a boot for my trailer. So, finally uh, happy to have this. I didn't know I didn't even know these were available. It just happened to come up on uh, a Tooltopia advertisement that I saw. And I'm like, oh, hey, you know. So, here we are. Happy to have this. <clears throat> Next item is an upgrade. So if you, so if you watch my, my videos, you know I have have a, like a, a little hodgepodge of uh, of wrenches. If you see my to tool organization video, you've seen the cha challenges that I've had with. Uh, fitting wrench racks in my in my toolbox and whatnot but you know I've got a mixed set of craftsmen and bench top and you know just a few different brands so my upgrade is to a Tekton set so I'll replace that I'm gonna make myself a kit for use uh, when I take to the junkyard pardon me so I'll make myself a junkyard box. I've got a bunch of portable boxes that are holding some stuff. So I'll use those for on-the-go boxes. <coughs> okay. And there we have the Tekton combination wrench set from 6 to 22. No skip sizes. I've been wanting... Uh, a complete set of nice wrenches Shit, for a minute now and uh, hey Tekton appreciate it you got some you got some business for me a lot of good reviews uh, out there highly recommend it you know and budget friendly so good to go I will replace these this metric set with the set that's in my my box currently and uh, store those in a portable box yeah, it's, it's totally even. You got this. All, All by right. Yourself. You hear the chatter going on in the background from the live stream. Dude, just push it. A good time was had by all, or is being had by all. And the chat room is full. A lot of good conversation going on. I chatted sure. it up with a guy from Brazil, a guy from Ireland. You know, I'm amazed at uh, the, the, the audience draw that uh is coming through you know for our little community here you know i like that i think that's fascinating you know to have an international audience all right what we have up next is um i've reviewed these or i've talked about these before uh, i bought these at home depot and the Socket rails that are meant for the toolbox itself were $6.99. And you walk around the corner, and these are designed, they were intended to be, to be used on a pegboard. You know, so that's, that's what they were meant for. Uh, they're dedicated, you know, to only 10 sockets. Um, man, where are the fasteners in this package? They must be underneath the rails. But uh, these are quarter... Uh, three eighths and quarter inch. Uh, the, my my closest store ran out of half inch, and uh, the next store that has some is in the next county over. I went to two different locations in hopes that you know that I'd find some more, but I had no such luck. But now I think I paid under six bucks for the three eighths and uh, just at five bucks for the quarter inch. Now they're like. Look like a woman Two dollars, no, a dollar eighty-seven. Got these for a dollar eighty-seven, you know. So they're clearing them out, oh, this is good, trying to get rid of them. 
this I had bought the last time. Uh, I have another wrench holder, magnetic from Torin, that I didn't have room for in the box or anything like that. You know, so I set it to the side. However, you know, at the price that this was going for, you know, I, I just couldn't pass it up. You know, regardless of uh, whether I could fit it in the box or not, you know, it, at any point that I expand, you know, I'll have use for this. And uh, here are the screws that would attach the the rail or the organizer to the uh, to the pegboard. So I've already had the wrench rail. I had the three eighths and half inch from uh, earlier shopping. You know that I spent a little bit more on, and uh, now everything. You know they're just trying to clear all of this stuff out. So I picked up the magnetic tool organizer. See, this will be great for screwdrivers or tool rail. I mean, uh, well. It's not a whole bunch of wrenches that you're going to fit in here, but, well, or pliers, I should say. You can put combination wrenches in here, I'm sure. But I think these will be pretty good for uh, screwdrivers at some point. Now, they are on the thicker side. If you look at these as well, you know, they're nowhere near as thin as anything that you would attach to, you know, a, a sheet of aluminum or steel or anything, you know, to make a tray. But I've got these in use in my box and uh, they worked out quite well for me. Now I do have one, uh, a couple of sets that are more than more than 10. So, you know, I'd have to split them up. But for what they are and for the price, you know, they you just couldn't pass them up. So, while I was running around today, this morning, I picked those up. I picked up two of the the wrench or screwdriver organizers. I grabbed a couple more of the three eighths inch uh, socket organizers, and the only two the only two can holders that they had remaining. Uh, the other two stores that I visited, you know, in hopes of uh, trying to find some other things, you know were either completely out or just didn't carry them at that location so those were my errands today uh let's see another item is i picked this set up at autozone while i was running around over the weekend looking for turbo sockets this is a sealed and o-ring remover set uh, I've been seeing them around and wanted a set and uh, I didn't, well, not that I wouldn't have ordered them offline or anything like that. This is just a, another impulse buy. I was coming across them and they were out of place on the rack, caught my eye and uh, the price was right. I think these were $5.99, I do believe, $4.99 or $5.99, one of the two, you know, but, you know. Just caught me at the right time. I happened to see them. There they were. You know, they didn't have what I wanted, so I didn't want to leave empty-handed. And hey, now I've got a, a sealed and O-ring remover set. Continuing on, I went back to Menards. I picked up a, a Promere Cobb light, Cobb LED light, and I went back. There were seven bucks so i wanted to go back and pick up a, a few more before uh they sold out well i was out of luck you know i got there and they were completely out of stock went to two more stores two two other menards they were completely out of stock uh, they didn't even have the price tags up like they even ever had them you know so again not wanting to leave empty-handed um they had this double-headed flexible work lamp now this is very similar to the magnetic pickup tool that I have that has it's a, a lighted magnetic pickup tool and I don't know if they're made by the same company probably are probably a different brand but it's essentially the same head you know with a handle on it and the flexible shaft pulls out you know and the the uh, 
power button on it. So I found these for five bucks. So I grabbed one, you know, uh, set it up like a desk lamp or wrap it around whatever to aim some light. I could probably wrap it around this tripod, you know, and throw some light on something, you know. So it was an impulse buy and uh, I think I think it'll be all right. Ah, button sales. That I didn't notice. Good thing I have some. All right. And finally, uh, the Premier lights that I was looking for were not available. However, they had this two-pack set of Premier 1000 lumen tactical lights. Yeah, we thought you were going to 19 bucks. Two of them for 19 bucks. Now, having to open these up, you know, a triple A, I wouldn't expect that, you know, a light this size. And from the weight of it, and I know it's two of them, and you can't feel it, but from the weight of these, two of them for 19 bucks and to take triple A batteries, man, and it is really, really bright. I couldn't believe it. It's got two modes. That's low light, off, and high light, high beam, you know. So, I couldn't pass those up. For 20 bucks, uh, cob, LED, cob LEDs inside. I don't know if you can see that with the glare or whatnot. But here, here's the package. And you can look them up at Menards or just look them up online or just Google them, period, and whatnot, you know, and uh, and see what they're about. They're really weighty. I like them. Uh, they feel, you know, as heavy as, you know, a doggone four-cell mag light, you know. So I feel like a real good grade. I think I'm going to be satisfied with them. Made in China, you know, so... Um, not gonna knock it, you know, everything else is these days. But uh, that is my tool haul for today. I blew my wad today uh, for this pay period. <laughs> I really wanted the the mid torque um, the mid torque Milwaukee, but uh, two weekends ago uh, had a friend of the family die, you know, so sort of traveled for and an, an unplanned trip you know went to a funeral you know so i had to spend money you know traveling south and whatnot you know so now i gotta catch up and whatnot you know so don't have my usual uh discretionary income or anything like that i bought this clock about a month ago or so i saw another guy you know has a clock exactly like it except it has a jeep and uh AMC, you know, really trade trademark. It has a trademarked face, you know, and what he paid for it, you know, was uh, I think it was like 70 bucks, you know, that he left on the link on it. And I just so happened to have bought this clock for 20 bucks at Menards. I didn't even realize it was a neon clock, you know, so they had it on clearance and whatnot. And I, I bought it for the nostalgic look for it, you know. So in my next video, we're going to talk about. Menards rebate policy. It sucks. All right, guys. Appreciate your time. Appreciate you watching. Please like, share, uh, subscribe. And uh, thanks for hanging in there with me. All right, you guys. I will see you on the next video. Deuces. Tool tubers. <laughs>